when working with players like BK over here, um, it's very often that we're just tweaking little things, making minor changes to, to improve his game. The last time he was in Kuala Lumpur, we worked on his pitching game and we created this nice little nippy, short abbreviated swing, which we, we really like. It's, it's accurate. Shooting in the 60s, so it's absolutely imperative that you're good at this distance if you want to score low. We then moved into a 7-iron, um, some really nice positions in this golf swing over here. Um, slight under turn of the shoulders, which we'll discuss in a bit. And then also you can see the legs pretty quiet through impact. So I got him just freeing himself up, just making a few practice swings, just nice and loose. And trying to feel the legs just going a little earlier, which you can see happening over there. Even though the face is a bit open, we can see the legs starting to drive a bit stronger. If you know my teaching, you know that I like to teach from the ground up. So working with the lower body and engaging that, that you know, strong set of core muscle to swing the club rather than trying to hit it with the hands, that's kind of my go-to. So, yeah, we're getting a little bit more dynamic with the lower body over there. So uh, always good to see, even from a better player like uh, BK. All right, now we've got a uh, four iron in hand, and he's carrying it, you know, over 200 yards, which is which is fairly impressive. Always nice to see a long iron being struck so well. Now this is the five ball challenge. This is where we try to hit five balls uh, in a row, and we try to hit a target um, pre pre uh, selected down the driving range. In this case, we selected. Um, couple of the uprights and just ask them to, to land the ball between the two uprights and uh, a couple of different varying ball flights on that. Now BK was always a fader of the golf ball. We worked pretty hard on getting him to, to understand and work the ball right to left, but his fade is still the go-to safety shot, um, which is absolutely fine. I actually I quite like to see that. Fade for comfort is, is, is fine. But as, a, as an important part of becoming a really rounded player, you have to learn how to move the ball uh, both directions. For the last shot, uh, we just really put a lot of pressure on him. We talked about the 18th hole, part of win. What kind of feelings are you having on that last ball? Are you able to calm your emotions? Are you able to take a nice deep breath and keep your heart rate nice and low? so that you're able to hit the shot under pressure. And that's exactly what, uh, what he did here. This was a really good, good swing to finish with. Just hung on to the right side of uh, our target. Really good work. And finally onto the driver. So on the first swing, um, great swing. You know, he's, he's carrying the ball a long way. He's, he's, he's quite a long hitter, but the shoulder turn was a bit restricted. So. I got him to turn his shoulders a lot wider and got him feeling the left shoulder over the inside of the right yeah. knee, which felt like a long way for him. As you can see, I asked him if that was better, he immediately nodded. So it carries a lot longer once you get that shoulder turn a bit wider, a bit longer. We need more range. 